Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer for the month of December for the full moon energies and how these energies may affect some of you. Please keep in mind it is a general reading so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. Let's begin this reading. Presiding above all we have the Fool here. So um, this is about taking a risk on something or a leap of faith. Um, you may be being pulled in two directions with regards to a decision. You may have um, already uh, experienced feeling the fool um, and perhaps you do not want to repeat that experience. It can also be a card of um, foolishness. The fool can be unsuspecting um, and I feel that perhaps uh, in the past it's what happened. You know, you may have bent down to smell that rose um, completely unaware of the events that, you know, would unfold. So now it's like you're, you're pulled in two directions as to whether you should take um, a new risk, I feel, on the same situation. Because we have uh, somebody coming back around here with a new offer, wanting to get back in a relationship with you. Now, um, this did come upright uh, first before it, you know, before it became reversed. So um, there could have been uh, a third party involved here or simply that um, the person may not uh, have been open to you emotionally um, maybe shut you out or left you out in the cold. Maybe they did not put the effort um, into the relationship or, you know, back up the words that they were speaking. So you may possibly have cut this person out because what's presiding over the situation is the Queen of Swords and the card of air. And clearly you can see here that she is very defensive. She has been hurt. Okay. And she um, could be defending a belief that she has. Something she believes to be true. Queen of Swords um, can be very decisive. She may not trust easily because she's been hurt. So she can be somewhat standoffish or appear somewhat cold towards this person coming forward if, if he has hurt her. Being that it's coming with this card of air, she's very much up in her mind about this. So she wants to do what is right for her. Card of justice is here. Um, she is still emotionally stuck on a situation from the past. Um, she has a lot of regrets and um, grieves over the situation or what has happened. Um, she understands um, the consequences and that there very might very well be consequences for her in store should she accept, accept that cup again. And she knows what those consequences would be um, should history repeat itself, right? Because she lived it. It's why she's in that position. So it's like 
what am I fighting for here? You know, where is this going? Um, what is it that I truly want? I want to make the right decision. I don't want to have any regrets. But it's like, I just don't see the direction forward. So, <clears throat> she has escaped a toxic situation in the past, possibly third party. I mean, in this reading, the devil is here three times, overall energies, and uh, twice here uh, in this present moment, okay? But it's shown as um, that there was an escaping of this situation, a releasing of it, because it's upright and then reversed, okay? <clears throat> and now, you still desire this person, even though you did escape from it. Um, and now it's like there's this, <clears throat> they come back around and um, there is this opportunity or chance to heal it, to heal the breach. I feel, um, it's like a situation you're facing that it's going to require a lot of strength uh, on your part to make this decision. You know what the consequences are. You know you were disillusioned by this person in the past. Again, it's like you get these warning signals. But um, some sort of um, message or event comes in that makes you want to um, uh, offer empathy with the card of chariot, ch uh, chariot, with the card of charity here. It makes you want to return to this person. So it just could be that because it's something that um, helps you, in a sense, um, to navigate these deep feelings. Okay, so something is said to you, I feel, um, that may kind of coax you out of this energy here to the point where you want to um, uh, jump back in again. You know, it's like you're, you're tempted. It's like temptation is what it is. Tempted to pick up that cup again. But, you know, like, it's, it's like perhaps in the back of the mind, you keep getting those red flags, right? <clears throat> so here in, in future uh, energies, here we have the Eastern Emperor and the Devil. So um, now the Eastern Emperor is it's like um, is like the Hierophant type of energy where um, it would be somebody <clears throat> who follows traditions or follows the rules, um, contracts, agreements, uh, commitments, um, but it comes with the devil. So there's a, there's like a, a wickedness here. There's like um, <clears throat> a deception. So they could come in offering uh, this relationship. They're convincing you, coaxing you. It's what the devil does, creates illusions. And you're kind of tempted 
to go that way, you know? So it's like you're uh, here. So, oh, look at that. Wow. Fourth time this devil's coming up. It's like you're, you're tempted. You're studying it. So the devil comes forth wanting or trying to convince you uh, to move forward with him, okay, to make up. And you're afraid. He definitely is hiding something from you. Beware. You're afraid of the, the future you know, of what is going to fill all these cups. You have a choice to make. You have options and you want to pick the right cup. You want to make the right choice. What are the consequences that this person, you know, will stab you? You see it here with the Knight of Swords and the Tower. Um, you see the damage that they're going to cause you and they're going to upset your life again. So, do you take the cup? Or do you cut your losses and get out now? Well, you're going to kind of like wait and see is what I think this is because we begin with her being very guarded here and here she is the hand is now extended extended so she's willing to talk about it she's willing to talk about it because she's tempted can we transform this you see the butterfly on the tip of the sword So there's a decision to make whether you want to take a leap of faith on this person. You're being pulled in two directions on this choice. Do you want to take a leap of faith or do you want to cut your losses and get out? You understand the consequences of your decision with justice being here. All right, so let's move to our, our overall energies and beginning with the Wizard of awareness. Mindfulness is about being observant, remaining neutral about what goes on in the world around you and the environment within you. Being the observer gives you a new, powerful perspective that neutralizes any discomfort. From this position, you need to adopt a sense that nothing uh, that happens to you is personal. Understand that people come and go, experiences shift and change, no matter how much you want things to stay the same. The wizard asks you to give up your need to define or to limit what you're experiencing right now. Let it be and watch the miracle unfold without any direct influence from you. And I feel that this is what you're doing. Field of dreams in the reverse asks you, are your dreams your own or are they someone else's? 
Have you chased money, possessions, or prestige? Have you placed security above fulfillment? Has approval seeking played a major role in your motivation to succeed? This is the time for you to assess the validity of your dreams and talents. Nature has a way of self-correcting if you're willing to act with authenticity. So I feel, uh, Cancer, you have a major decision in front of you. Um, you understand the consequences, and so you are um, observing, um, waiting, on the results to see how this is going to play out and perhaps you know to decide is this really what I want because this is a card of figuring out exactly what you're fighting for what are you fighting for here The answer that you seek, you shall have it um, very soon. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. I wish you all the best and many blessings to all of you.